Hello there guys and welcome to this P3D video. Today we're going to be taking a first look at the MD-82 by Leonardo Software. This aircraft was a highly anticipated aircraft. It is currently available for purchase at the Sim Market Store for an introductory price of 65 euros. This introductory offer is going to last until February the 28th and post that date the price of the aircraft will go up to 70 euros. In this first look video, we are going to be examining the exterior and interior 3D modeling and texture work. We are also going to be taking a look at the various features and aircraft systems, and we will conclude our video with a start from a cold and dark state and taxi to the runway with a takeoff and a few turns around Palm Springs Airport here in California. Before we begin our first look video today, I just want to stress out the fact that this is not a tutorial and a full tutorial should follow soon in the weeks to come. Let us begin our first look video by examining the exterior 3D modeling and texture work. And as it is always the case, I compare the aircraft textures and 3D modeling to real world footage of the aircraft. And let me tell you, I'm very happy to report that this aircraft is an accurate rendition of the MD-82 in every respect. The quality of the textures, the details, and just about everything has been modeled to look exactly like the real MD-82. If you look here at the engine and all the labels on the engine, the landing gear here, um, very, very high fidelity, and it really is looking absolutely gorgeous. The reflection of the wing here um, and the uh, kind of the dirt look that this uh, particular livery has really gives this aircraft uh, an immaculate uh, look and a very faithful representation of the real aircraft. The interior 3D modeling and texture work of this MD-82 by Leonardo Software is, as you can see, a high fidelity representation of the real MD-82 cockpit. The overhead panel, the knobs, the switches, the lights, everything has been modeled to look exactly like the real aircraft. And this really adds a lot to the immersion and realism of the aircraft. Let me tell you, I've flown this aircraft now a couple of times and it is an absolute joy to fly. As an added bonus, this aircraft also ships with true light and true glass by TFDI, which in my opinion adds an extra level of realism and immersion to this already beautifully modeled aircraft. Leonardo Software has included a manager and setup application to help manage your MD-82. The features in this application range from setting up and registering your aircraft to managing the aircraft failures, fuel and route planning, and a load manager. The load manager is a particularly useful feature as it takes the information from your fuel and route planner and dispatches all the performance data to your flight simulator. The fuel and route planner is where you actually set up your flight plan and the nice thing about it is once you add the departure arrival and alternate um, airport and you add all your waypoints and airways it will automatically calculate all the fuel uh, requirements for your flight. I am not going to be covering everything in this video. I'm going to leave a lot of it to the tutorial video, which I am planning soon. Suffice it to say that there are a lot of different options that you can choose from to configure the MD-82 to your liking, including the virtual cockpit resolution, real light resolution, as well as choosing your weather radar client. I'm using um, Active Sky. You can also choose to start your aircraft from a cold and dark state, a ready to start state, or ready to fly. The MD-82 by Leonardo Software also ships with additional features to help you manage the aircraft, including preset views, landing and takeoff data, and a window to manage the aircraft doors and stairways. For increased realism and immersion, this MD-82 also ships with cabin crew communications. This brings us to probably the most interesting part of the video, which is really starting the aircraft from the cold and dark state, taxi to the runway and takeoff. So without further ado, let's begin. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the battery and you will notice that the sounds of the switches and the knobs 
Everything here has been recorded from the real aircraft according to the author. Battery is on. We're going to turn on the uh, start pump here to the on position. And now we're going to start the APU. And that's run and start. Now we're going to watch the EGT rising. There you go. And by the way, in order to use the ground communication, you need to turn on the, if I can get to it, right there, the maintenance interphone. So now it's on. By the way, everything is modeled here, so you can actually test everything. I'm just going to wait for the APU now. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure what happens when you turn on the APU for the first time. There is a glitch where this part here disappears. And hopefully this will be fixed in uh, later versions of the aircraft. We have the APU now available. We're going to turn on the APU bleed. And we're going to supply some cold air to the cabin. Put this on auto. And we're going to actually turn on the emergency light to perform a test and what we'll do now is shift 6 emergency light test PA and emergency light test emergency lights okay okay and it checks okay and now we're going to change the emergency light to the arm position non smoking signs seat belt signs and the uh, Meter selection here, we'll put this on captain. And everything here looks good to me on this side. So let's come back up here. And we're going to perform a few tests here. One of which is the ground proximity warning test. Slide slope. Pull up. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. And we're going to also rate. test the pull up headwind terrain shear headwind shear pull up wind shear test shear. don't sink tailwind shear don't sink tailwind shear and moving down here we're going to turn on the anti skid five hundred to arm position four hundred and everything else looks good to me there are by the way a few other tests that you can perform i'm 50, not going to go through 40, um, everything 30, in this first look 20, video uh, 10, but hopefully i can provide below, you with terrain, an insight cockpit, and terrain, let's go ahead and take care of that cockpit, terrain, and we're going to go ahead and lock terrain, the cockpit terrain, door pull up caution obstacle and everything else caution, now looks good obstacle. Well, I'll tell you guys, I am glad that this test was over because it is really annoying. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the fly directors now. And we're going to set the altitude to our um, flight plan altitude today of 33,000 feet. That is set. And let's see here. Um, speed, uh, we'll worry about that later. Um, and we're going to turn on the position lights and everything else is looking okay here let's go ahead and turn on the hydraulics there we go and we can see the hydraulic pressure now is rising and we need to do the same thing on the first officer side as well There we go. That's good enough. And we need to turn on the pneumatic pressure. There we go. That's also on. And now we're pretty much ready to start programming the FMC. All right. So let's head over here and let's go to position initialization. We are not going to be programming the FMC properly in this video as this is a first look video, but let's just go ahead and put in our departure airport, which is in this video, Kilo Sierra, Papa Sierra. And we're just gonna grab the current GPS position and route. And we're just gonna say that we're gonna go to Denver, Colorado. 
Kilo Delta Echo November. And activate and execute. And then we're going to go to departure. We're going to be departing 15 right and execute. And then we're going to head back to the index, arrival, and to Denver. And we're going to select the peak 3 and through the ORA transition. And we're going to do an ILS, runway 26, and execute. And now I'm just going to go now to the legs page. And oops, legs page, and next page, next page. Mm. Well, it looks like we don't have any discos. Somehow connected the dots. Okay, we'll go to the initial reference, and we're going to just save scheduled fuel 120,000. Oops, we need to specify 120,000 and slash A. Zero fuel is 125,000. And reserve is 4563. Cruise altitude is 33,000 feet. Wind cruise is 256 at 133 knots. And let's see, outside temperature is 14 Celsius, so we'll enter that right over here. And now we go to the takeoff data. And for the takeoff data, we're going to hit Shift and 1. And we're going to consult our sheet here. It gives us a V1 of 116, V rotate of 131, and a V2 of 139. Now, in the load manager, um, there is an option to automatically set the center of gravity and flaps and that will automatically set the trim to about 7.5 but then you have to actually set the trim yourself um, if you ask me i i prefer to actually set the um, cg and flaps myself um, but let's go ahead here and set it to about 7.5 um, as indicated in the takeoff uh, long trim display so that's about seven that's about right Okay, so that is now set, and what we can do is now we can remove this and set the FMC here to the legs page, and we're going to set this one here to climb, and now everything is looking good. Let's uncage the display here, the artificial horizon is now uncaged, there we go. And I think that's about right. And now the aircraft is pretty much configured uh, for departure. So let's set this to 139. There we go. And heading select as well. And this, by the way, should be the runway heading. And we're going to switch this to map right there. And now everything is looking good. Let's go ahead and set the altimeter. Altimeter is 2991. And we're going to head over here and set that to 2991. I think that's about right. And now everything is looking good for engine start and pushback. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure the parking brake is set, which, as you can see here, it is already set. But this is where you um, set your parking brake. And now we are ready to call the pushback truck and push out of our position. Parking gear. All right, uh, let's go ahead and release the parking brake. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start that wheel. All right, so we have our clearance to start the engines, and the first thing we want to do is we want to turn off the air conditioning system. And we're going to head over here now and set this to system A. 
We're going to turn on the fuel pumps. And now we can start the right engine. As you can see here now, N2 is rising and we're going to wait for about 20% of N2 before we um, set the fuel flow. That's about 20%. Give it some fuel now. And it looks like we have a good start on the right engine. We're going to go ahead now and start the left engine. And again, we're going to wait for 20% of N2. Set. Give it some fuel. Set the parking brake. All right, and we have a good start on the left engine as well now. System off. And what we can do now is turn on the yaw damper. And we can turn off the APU. So APU is no longer needed. And we can now turn on the air supply once more. Galley power is on. And everything else is looking pretty okay to me. We do not need the pneumatic pressure anymore. So those can be turned off. We're going to set the um, auto brake to reject a takeoff. And we're going to arm it. And now we need to arm the speed brake and set flaps 15 for departure. And now everything is pretty much configured. We're going to turn on the taxi lights. And we are good to go. So let's go ahead and taxi to the runway. All right, let's go ahead and notify the cabin crew to prepare for departure. Prepare Ladies for takeoff. We're number one for takeoff. Flight attendants, please be seated. We are currently holding short at runway 31 left, which isn't the correct runway we entered into the aircraft FMC, but that's just a first look video, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's go ahead and turn on the takeoff lights. And we're going to turn the strobes and everything else is looking okay we'll set this to takeoff power and now we're going to release the parking brake and we're going to depart we've been cleared for takeoff so let's go ahead and give it some power here and auto throttle on Takeoff thrust set. And we're going to rotate at yeah, about 139 hard. knots. B1, rotate. Positive rate. Positive rate of climb, gear is going up. Right, and we're going to begin a turn now. By the way, this aircraft has a wing condensation effect, uh, which isn't visible right now. Uh, we're going to start retracting the flaps now. Well, folks, I hope that this was an insightful first look at the MD-82 by Leonardo software. In my opinion, this is probably the most immersive MD-82 ever created for a flying simulation platform. Reference to its price of about 70 euros, I honestly think that this aircraft is worth every penny. You may not agree, but let me tell you, you will get a lot of joy flying this MD-82 in the skies of P3D version 4.
a full tutorial of this aircraft is coming pretty soon on the channel, so stay tuned. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.